which is really hard. And to be fair, I've had it since 2020. Oh, so uh -huh. I think it needs, I suppose, if you use a lot. Yeah, and I think it's just, it's struggling in there. A bit like us. A <laughs> strong bit like us. <laughs> bit like us. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a brand new vlog, new week. Today is Monday. I did um, my air wrap and I am, um, it's looking a lot because it hasn't had time to settle down. So excuse the very Farrah Fawcett hair that I've got going on. I've got my friend Laura hey. and future bridesmaid to be. So we are, and I'm so excited today, we've decided to go and do some wedding dress shopping. So I'm just, yeah, I'm really excited because I have done it a few times, but it's just been a bit, I don't know, like I think I was just quite nervous about the whole thing and I haven't really went, we went one time that was quite earlier on, yeah. we went to like an East London studio. And when it's your first, bridal shopping experience you're kind of there just for the fun and the vibes just trying to understand what's going on trying different shapes but now we're serious things are getting serious I'm starting to like know that time's running out like this month is the month I'll be married next year so I've got roughly about a year and I know there'll be a lot of alterations to some short so I'm just like I need to get eyes on the prize um, so we are going to Halo and Wren in Hemel Hempstead, which I've been before and I love the service there. The studio itself is so gorgeous and the woman who owns it is just amazing. She's very helpful. Um, so we had a little bit of drama with the appointment this morning. My fault. I told you, I don't know what it is at the minute. I'm, my brain is mush. So we're going to head over. We're going to get a coffee and cake just because. Why are we not Why gonna not? get a coffee and cake? And then, Be yeah, naughty. absolutely. So we're gonna go and try some things on. I still can't decide if I'm gonna show you the dresses on because I don't want to spoil the surprise of like, I think when you see someone in a wedding dress, you see them in a wedding dress and I really don't want to like spoil that. Um, so I think I'm gonna take you into the studio, show all the dresses there. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna show me wearing any dresses, so I'm sorry if that's gonna be a little bit disappointing But yeah, I feel like just a little bit needs to be hidden. I feel like I'm sharing all my secrets here And I feel like I need to just I'm making an executive decision. She's not showing you the dress. Sorry. Yeah. So don't hate me <laughs> It's not it me. It was my decision. I'm desperate to show you guys. It's her. I promise <laughs> um, Yeah, so we will see you there just ran in to get a little bit of cake, you know, just to feel super skinny, ready for dress trying on. What, what cake did you go for? Oh, good angle. What cake did I went you go for? for? The almond and um, maple. Some vegetables. I didn't know. We just, we flipping love a cake situation here. I feel like every vlog I'm testing cakes. Mm. I'm really on that wedding diet. You need, it's a very important part of weddings. So That's what I thought. It's, it's, the cakes. it's research and development, mm. if anything. Kind of freaked out for. Yeah. But she tried on the Brooklyn dress, which is the one that you have. Uh -huh. And the Porto dress is the one that Carmel tried on. And she actually loved the Brooklyn, the one that you wear. Mm. Oh. Because it's not as clingy. Mm -mm. It looks amazing on her. Gosh, I just got a little raindrop on my camera. Sorry. Oh gosh, is that? I don't know if that's good. But yes, we are heading to Halo and Ren. The weather is gone, so I'm so sorry for getting raindrops on you. Believe me, we are not living our best life. But this is how it looks. Old Hemo High Street, coming here. All right, let's see if this is open or not. Oh no, ring the doorbell. Oh, there's a girl Ah, oh, here she comes. Do you think you're gonna go No, I really want to try and have a bit of like there's just so many dresses here. I feel like I haven't tried in ages. <gasps> Look at these. You definitely wear both. I could see both to be fair. I just love I just love the studio. It's such a good like bright light. Look at all the designs and the designers. Ah. I love it all. Beautiful shoes. Oh my gosh, I'm just how Hello, you? how are you doing? Yeah, good, thanks. Good, I'm oh, back again. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. I did, yeah. Well, you know what it is as well? This sounds ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, I sent them to you and straight I after. Them. I know. I this has been my favourite one. So I was like, I need to go and have a little nose. I still love Cheeky pearls. little drink. I know, I do. I love a pearls moment. Cheers, Bubs. Cheers. Oh my gosh, this is right to the... Okay, me and Laura, we've just quickly done 
he wants round to have a look at everything and I swear there is a dress for every type of wedding here so if you want like a boho wedding classical abroad I feel like you've got every different style and what I love is they have these little clips so you when you're going round you don't have to be like oh that one and end up carrying them all you know what you've clipped so you can try them on so me and Laura have decided we're just gonna go for it we will be quick but we want to just be on a mission and try and narrow down exactly what we're looking for today okay guys I think I've just tried on about what would you say uh, 10? 10 about 10 dresses I want a huge mission first of all can I just show you how amazing this studio is I mean you get this full minute <laughs> I'm obsessed, but I'm on a bit of a high. I'm a little bit like a little bit shaky because I think I have found the wedding dress. I think we found it, but and Laura was amazing, so helpful, good support the whole time. Love you. Amazing, me trying to make it work. Boom, love it. <laughs> when you're trying, like. So yeah, I'm so excited. Honestly, she helped me so much. The girl was so informative. Nothing was like too much. I've tried on a million different sleeves of all different styles. Like honestly, she let me try everything, even all the veils, all the different type of veils, short veils, long veils, everything. So highly recommend if you just want somewhere comfortable and there's no pressure, you can literally try on a million things. So I'm so excited. Again, the air wrap waves. They need some time to settle. They're looking very extra. But yesterday was such a fantastic day. Honestly, I left on such a high. It's just one of those experiences that, although I'm usually a solo shopper, and I am, having someone there with you just completely changes the experience. And I feel like, especially with a wedding dress, I just feel like you need that extra... I don't know reassurance maybe um but yeah it was amazing and i think we have found the one i'll be honest my mom and sister were not keen on it but i think at the same time you know you've got to dress for yourself so yeah i'm just a little bit torn i've actually got more wedding dress trying on tomorrow as well it's a very wedding dress week and then we're going skiing so the next vlog after this will be a really fun ski vlog which i can't wait i haven't really spoken much about it but behind the scenes i've been gathering lots of different ski pieces because I've never been skiing before so this will be my first ever trip so yeah I've just been trying to research what to pack and kind of buying new pieces and things so yeah the next vlog will be a ski vlog which would be cool especially because I've never went skiing before in my life so I am so excited for that and I'm so excited for a break and to just relax and chill I feel like things have been go 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 since like November um so I really can't wait for a little break but today we are heading into London. I've got a little job to shoot with Lululemon, which will be great. And I'm also gonna see my friend Chloe. Um, she's actually gonna lend me a pair of moon boots for the trip. Thank you so much. Which would be so good and just like have a little bit of a catch up. I haven't seen her in ages and she's got so much things going on as well and I'm going skiing so we won't actually cross paths for a while. So it'll be good just to get a little catch up in. Believe it or not, it is snowing in London. You can't see it just now, but it's snowing. In I've still got the blue lemon ad to film. So am my hell letting this hair that I've air wrapped go wet? Let me just check, I'm still going the right way. Oh, they want me to go through Kingley Court. Okay, let's do it. We're just on Carnaby Street just now. And we're heading to the Lululemon store on Regent Street. Have a look at the new inn, all that exciting stuff. I met Chloe. Moon boots are in. Oh in person and I cannot wait to film this campaign see all the fun new bits in person so if you've never been to Kingley Court it's nicer when this like is it. very cool really good place on Carnaby Street to get the food or a drink really good bit for socializing um but yeah now heading to the start <laughs> I see you girls um yeah so just Heading there now, hoping that it's an easy store to find. Can't wait to see all the new in stuff. I love Little Lemon for workout gear and get a bit inspired as well for a ski trip coming up because I've been wearing a lot of their things. <gasps> Look how beautiful this wall is. Ooh -ooh. Don't know if you can see, it's all rainbow. Oh my gosh, I love. So, anyway, I'm just gonna film on my 
for one. I'll probably get chucked out the store if I'm filming on my camera. Anyway, I'm serving you Robin Hood realness, so I'm gonna put this camera away and concentrate. Okay, if you don't whisper, don't like hear me. If you haven't been to the Little Lemon store on Regent Street, you need to. I didn't realise it was this big, I didn't realise it was this amazing. The staff are gorgeous, so kind, so helpful. And the fitting rooms are so aesthetic. Like, look at this. Can I focus it for you? Yeah, I love this. Massive mirrors everywhere. They put your name outside, like everything's so personalised. You know me, I'm a neutral queen. So I'm going to try on these two different hoodies. They're kind of the same, but one's cropped one's longer so i'm just gonna see which one suits me best i love this this is super like if you're looking for a snatched waist this cropped hoodie is where it's at and i love how high up it is and you've got a really gorgeous hood here as well mm. i love it i love the color as well it's a very me color you've also got these little which i love morning welcome today what day is it today wednesday the 8th of march i feel dead i feel like i've just been so all over the place this is the i feel like i've always got hiccups when i start talking the vitamin enriched face base from bobby brown loved it used it for literally years like five plus years i love this stuff um yeah i feel like i've been doing so much wedding things so much work so much like play that i'm definitely burning the candle at both ends and for me it shows up on my skin big time so we're doing a lot of skin prep today because today walls we're doing another dress shop um we are gonna meet my friend jenna who you guys know and i'm actually going over to her hometown we're going to Berkhamstead today to have a look at Berkhamstead Brides or Brides of Berkhamstead, I think it is, um, and have a look at what they have on offer there. To be fair, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I found the dress in uh, Halo and Ren the other day. Oh, I've got some of that. If you ever get some of that on your lip, take it off because mm, I feel like it can burn. Um, yeah, I feel like I found it in Halo Ram, but I already put a deposit down. Something I didn't realise when you go bridal dress shopping is you've got to put a deposit down and that deposit's non-refundable. Um, so I think this was like £30 and you don't get that back. So we're going to the appointment. And it'll be fun. It'll be something fun for me and Jenna to do as well. Um, so that's what we're doing today. I do feel a little bit like all over the place like i said to adam i'm gonna have to stop with some of the wedding things i feel like i haven't been on it with work and things very much because i've just been so full steam ahead with weddings um and then we're going skiing this saturday um so yeah which i've been trying to plan desperately in the background so it's been a couple of mental weeks um as much fun as all this wedding stuff is and it really is when you like other brides will know it does kind of take up your life um and i have the flexibility of being able to you know choose what days i go to and things because i work for myself so it ends up taking over everything so i feel really behind with work actually which isn't a good feeling because it's normally my top priority and i put it before everything so this is a very unusual feeling but yeah today we're gonna do quite a bit of makeup because Another tip, if you're ever trying on wedding dresses or bridesmaid dresses, anything, these shops can have quite harsh lighting. Look at that difference. I love that stuff. Can have quite harsh lighting and you're wearing a white dress. So I feel like you do need to have quite a bit of makeup. The one thing I have noticed though, oh, ow, that looks sore. One thing I have noticed though is because I'm so tired, look how weird that looks. Because I'm so tired, my skin is very dry at the minute. So normally I wear quite a medium to full coverage foundation. We're actually going to go really light today because I'm finding the heavier foundations I'm wearing at the minute are actually making me look older and more tired and it's emphasizing my wrinkles on my forehead. So we're actually going to go in with a tinted moisturizer today. Um, we'll just conceal the bits that we need to conceal. Um, but I'm just putting my e.l.f. brow stuff on and getting these brows in place so my, at least my face is framed but we're just doing quite a quick job today um, quick and efficient because we have quite I've got a journey 
and I was hoping to do a bit of work before I go but I don't think I'll have time now because we spent the morning putting back a million packages because I don't know if like if you're anything like me but when you go away you just order so much stuff to try especially with skiing you've got so much things to buy and I've never went skiing before so I've no idea on my sides and things so yeah it's been a learning curve skiing has been a learning curve but I'm gonna put on the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer oil free in the shade bisque I love this and this will be really nice at giving me a bit more of an even coverage but I just know I will feel way more put together. I'm looking for any of my stuff, sorry. I feel a little bit all over the place. I don't know if you can tell, but I do. I feel all over the place, right? Let me get a little brush. Actually, sack brush. Let's go in with a beauty blender. Or these little marshmallow things. I normally use them wet, but I've been using them dry at the minute, which probably isn't great, but I've been feeling lazy. A bit on. I'm really excited about this bridal appointment. It'll be really fun. I feel like the pressure is a bit off as well now that I found one that I really liked. I've shown a few people uh, the dress that I love. It's very mixed opinions. I think all my all my friends are like stunning, amazing. My family's a bit like mm, no, not for them. I think it's because they have an expectation of what I was gonna wear. So, and because this is quite different, they're just a bit like, are you sure that's the one? But I just felt really good in it. Like, I don't think a lot of people tell you that. Uh, wedding dresses are really uncomfortable. They're very heavy. There's no flexibility in them. Um, so a lot of the time, yes, I want to look like a bride and I want an amazing dress, but also I want to be comfortable. Um, like you're in this all day eating, drinking, dancing, walking, posing. So I feel like, you know, you need something comfortable. But yeah, that's like, it's still super glowy. You can see my skin through it. It's very lightweight. So if you're looking for something a bit more lightweight, this might be for you. I just needed something that wasn't gonna make me look old. <laughs> I think cause I haven't been taking care of myself very well at the minute. Um, I, yeah, my skin is just looking old and tired and sleepy and dry and blah, 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 blah. But never mind. I've decided when I come back from skiing, skiing's going to be amazing. There's going to be a vlog on it, so I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, But I am definitely going on a health... Oh, did I just save it? No, I didn't. I'm going on a health kick when I come back. Um, I'm going to prioritise myself a bit more. Um because I don't feel good. I think that's another thing, when you feel not good and you're trying on one of these dresses, you're like, yeah, I love it. Um, so, very interesting. Anyway, I'm just gonna do my usual makeup as I've done. It's literally that video I did. I've just used a different base because I just felt like, again, I just look a little bit tired. So I was like, no point. I realized I've been blabbing on for about seven minutes now. So I can only apologize for this long, ass intro for today but I'm just gonna get myself together I've scraped my hair back as well because I had my hair down for the last bridal appointment as you would have seen and I just want to see what it would be like with my hair up because I'm still deciding what I want to do with my hair um but yeah okay I'm gonna shut up and do the rest of my makeup and talk to you in a bit oh quickly I know I said goodbye I picked up with a voucher the Chanel bronzer because I didn't want to commit to something that is so expensive. I think this is like £43. Um, but my friend Chloe says it's amazing. So I bought it with the voucher. Look how satisfying that is. <laughs> Hello. Now I controversially went for the deep shades. This is the darkest shade they do. Um, the rest of it had gone, like was out of stock. But to be honest, this is their deep shade. So I don't understand how women of colour are meant to use this. Like they said, this is their deepest shade, but... I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's my perfect shade and I'm quite fair. Maybe I just like things extra bronze, but I don't know. Seems kind of sus to me, but this is what it looks like on. It's like not too much at all. And I must admit, as much as I don't want to like this, it is the best cream bronzer. Like that goes in too easily like i'm barely patting it in and it just melts into the skin and it builds really nicely 
damn you chanel for bringing out a super expensive but absolutely gorgeous bronzer like you can see that bit there so like boom like so easy to blend out and build and get the color that you want and i want to look really dewy and youthful today so i'm going to try and use a lot more cream products but sorry for uh jumping back in i just really wanted to show you my new purchase my new bronzer and see if you, any of you guys have tried the chanel bronzer before oh, is it worth 43 pounds i don't know but people that say that do get this say it lasts like a year and a half so maybe it is but it is beautiful when it goes on but that is the darkest shade so hmm. i've hidden in some underground well underground law i wish undercover shelter just got into birkenstead and it is snowing and it's the worst weather so i don't think this is the most spring-like bridal day for trying on wedding dresses but it is what it is i've slipped my hair back see what i mean by more dewy creamy makeup that's the hope but we're just about to meet jenna just now i think the bridal shop's like 10 minute walk and i am a good 40 minutes early for my appointment i always get worried with buses especially when it's snowing you just never know so i am in contact with jenna now before we head off um so yeah i'll wait here i'll head a bit further down I just don't want to move. This is so so cozy and I don't want to move. Like, let me show you what I'm looking at. Do you see the snow? I would have loved this about two, three months ago. But now I'm over it. I found a wild Jenna <laughs> in her natural habitat. <laughs> and we are struggling. It is so cold. It is so, so cold. But this will be Jenna's second time going to like a bridal shop for wedding dresses and stuff. Your sister now. Yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Like I said, I don't know how much we'll be able to film, but we're right outside it, so let me show you how it looks. Oh, this snow is really not doing the most. So we're just in the bridal shop just now, and it is so beautiful. And it is literally, let me just get any little snowdrops off you. I think I made that worse. <sighs> um, yeah, let me just. Ooh. So it's really helpful because it's actually in silhouette order, which I love. And she's just kind of explained everything in terms of the styles if it's more boho, more Audrey Hepburn vibes, more clean vibe, more clean lines, or more like lace. So honestly, the thing with bridal shops, I find, is everything looks good. You know, just think like every dress so is beautiful. True. So I always that's find... it's fun to try multiple different styles. Yes, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to do a little bit of a risk-taking vibe as well as something a bit more traditional. Like, these are beautiful as well. And I wouldn't normally... Like, this, like I said, boho is not usually my thing, but... So, so, so pretty. Okay, so first update. Still snowing <laughs> in March. Second update. Potential. <gasps> have found another dress. This, I feel like things are on the up. I was struggling to find a dress for so long and now, yeah. Multiple. I found them and they're, you know what it is? I don't know if you'd agree with me. They're quite similar. Yeah. But there's subtle differences that I think make the both of them very different when they're on. So I've made another appointment for my mum to come and see it. But what did you think, Bubs? I loved it. Loved it. I loved the first one when you sent me the photo. This one, like you said, very similar. But yeah. Fairly big differences also, so a lot to think about really, but it's gorgeous, True. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm just, honestly, the whole experience is really fun. If you've got like the right bridal shop and the stylist, I feel like it can be really fun, especially if you've got a lovely audience who just says you look beautiful in everything. <laughs> beautiful in There was quite people to try on like, just different styles I hadn't tried before. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's part of the process though, isn't it? You get to yeah. enjoy, enjoy it. You're only going to do it once, really. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know. Fingers crossed, Adam. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't imagine doing all of this again. Like, I actually quite enjoy the wedding planning, but I couldn't imagine doing this again. It's a lot. But yeah, it was really good. So it's just very... Yeah, I'm just a bit shocked that I have found potential another one. Mm. Um, so yeah, my mum's coming next after we go skiing. So we can do a little um, 
sorry, I'm getting distracted by everything. Yeah, <laughs> so my mum comes round. We'll go to both the shops, Halo and Wren, as well as Brides of Birkenstead. And we will try them both on again, and I will get the opinion from my mother, who I know. The ultimate. The ultimate, the OG. The OG Robertson. But I know that she's gonna be very much like, yeah, both are nice. So. <laughs> We shall see, but anyway, we're off to go find a cozy pub mm -mm. and a drink, because I fancy something. Oh my gosh. I feel like all I do with you is eat burgers. <laughs> no, That's what we do, yes. That's what we do. Burgers and bubbles, my favorite. I just wanted to come in here because basically it's been a couple of days and I thought I was going to get to do a come pack with me for skiing before it went straight into the ski vlogs but apparently works just went from zero to a hundred. I feel like anyone who works themselves understands the like pre-holiday fear of knowing that yeah you've got to get everything wrapped up so I've been a little bit distracted so I haven't been able to do a compact with me ski which is pretty poor but if you watch my friend if you're looking for something like that uh my two friends all Chloe Rose on YouTube has a really good pack with me ski video and so does Lauren Grace so both of them I'll link them on the description below the videos because then you can go and have a look um but yeah I just wanted to come in. Even Adam's trying to wrap up things. Like this is the night before the holiday. I have packed, but I've still got extra bits to pack. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. Again, sorry if it's a little bit like here, there and everywhere. But the next vlog will be a skiing one and I need to see how much footage I'm gonna get. So it might be two parts, it might be one part because we're away for a full week. So it might be better in two parts. Um, so you might get two skiing vlogs, but yeah. Sorry for this one being a little bit here, there, and everywhere, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Adam. Bye.